dash. Intellectual and emotional circumstances are the direct result of RAC. Dash. Tyons and habits, both past and present. How we choose to respond when confronted with pain or discomfort will change our ability to skillfully deal with suffering when it arises. We can also take solace in the fact that we're not alone, that every person has difficult and unpleasant experience. Dash. S. It's how we respond to pain that determines our experience. Inquiry of wise understanding. Think of a situation in your life that is causing confusion and run. Dash. Ease. Run. What is the truth of this situation? 2. Are you seeing clearly, or are you getting lost in judgment? Taking things personally in stories you're telling yourself, or repeating past messages you've internalized. How? 3. Is your vision clouded by greed, hatred, confusion, clinging, attachment, or craving? How? In what situations and parts of your life do you have the most defeat? Dash. Culty separating wants from needs. Are there areas or relationships where the drive to get what you desire overshadows any other concept? Dash. Oration. Has this changed since you began or continue in recovery? Are there parts of your life where you are driven to continue on please? Dash. And experiences because you think you must or need to. How is karma, the law of cause and effect, showing up right now? Where in your life are you dealing with the effects or aftermath of Action you took in the past, both positive and negative. Wise intention. Wise intention describes the attitude or approach we take to. Dash. Ward ourselves in the world. We can choose non-harming by avoiding. Actions that have harmful results, detaching from the cravings that seem. Overwhelming in the moment and developing a kind and compassionate stance toward ourselves and the world. Wise intention leads us to stop doing things based on confusion, ill will, hatred, violence, and selfish. Dash. Mess. It impacts all our relationships with ourselves, other people, our community, and the world as a whole. Wise intention is deciding to act in ways that produce good car. Dash. Gnaw and to avoid actions that produce bad karma. We start by looking at the kinds of thoughts that cause us to act in wise or unwise ways. If our thoughts are based on confusion, fear, and greed, then our actions will bring bad results and create harm. If our thoughts are based on generos, dash, ity, compassion, and avoiding clinging, then our actions will bring good results. Thoughts that are based in loving kindness and goodwill, that are free from the desire or intention to cause harm, led us to act in a beneficial manner. There may be times when we don't necessarily want to act in a beneficial manner. We may know the right thing to do, but just don't want to do it. It's in these moments we can focus on our intention. May. Dash. Be we aren't ready to do the difficult thing, to quit a certain behavior. To set a boundary or forgive someone for whom we hold a resentment. But we can set the intention to do so, and investigate our willingness in meditation by repeating statements like, 
may I have the willingness to forgive, may I have the willingness to quit smoking or skip that piece of cake, or stay off the internet tonight, etc. Ellipsis dot, may I have the willing dash yes to make amends to my partner. The first choice we can make in wise intention is that of generosity. Dot, generosity teaches us how to let go of our self-centeredness. To let go of clinging to ideas of mine, and, me, selfishness, or self, centeredness, is one of the ways we justify and cling to our addictive behaviors, generosity comes from the awareness that we're holding on, too tightly to our selfishness, the karmic result of looking at the world, only through, the lens of, me, and, mine, and, what I want, leads to loneliness, sipa, dash, ration, and dissatisfaction, letting go of this clinging can be the solution, letting go of, me, and, mine, does not mean you need to stop acnol, dash, edging your social identities within your community, without generosity, the mind is confined to a small, tight space. Anything that's not about, me and mine, is off limits. At times in our lives when we become dependent, our world becomes focused on sat. Dash. Is fine our cravings, on holding on to what we want right now. We get sucked into the reactivity of survival mode, believing that we must have our addictive substance or behavior to survive our needs for relief or pleasure consume us, and we become blind to the needs of those around us. We may even begin to see them as threats. We can break out of this cycle by opening our hearts, by being present for, and in service to other people. Generosity allows space to re- dash- spawn to those around us, to include their well-being in our choices. This can, of course, be a tricky concept for those of us who struggle with issues of codependency. Generosity does not mean giving of ourselves without boundaries until we are depleted. It does not mean using, helping, as a form of manipulation to get what we want. Again, what's important here is that we're honest about the intention behind our actions. We try not to confuse intent with impact. Our intention may be to not harm, but sometimes the impact is that someone feels hurt. Many of us have experienced this in our addictions, without intending to, and often without even being aware of it, we've created harm in other people's lives. The way we choose to practice compassion in recovery is by being accountable when our actions hurt someone, and by acnol. Dash. Edging this hurt without blame or shame, defensiveness or justification. This includes when we offend someone by inadvertently using unwise speech or actions in regards to their social identity, such as race or gender. In these moments, it is important to recognize the difference between intent and impact, and having a deep appreciation and compassion for the interconnectedness among us all. Generosity allows us to cultivate appreciative joy, which is first of the four heart practices of Buddhism, along with compassion, love, dash, 
in kindness, and equanimity. Joyful appreciation is simply being half. Dash. P.Y. When somebody else has good fortune, happiness, and peacefulness. Generosity lets us appreciate the happiness of others rather than having. Feelings of envy, jealousy, or wanting them to be just a bit less happy so. We seem a little happier by comparison. We want the other person's half. Dash. Pines to increase, for them to become more at peace, and so we learn to appreciate those things in their lives. In the moment of giving, of Jenner. Dash. Ozati, we've let go of self-centered desire and grasping what is mine or what brings me pleasure. We're giving up any ill will or aversion we feel toward the person and toward the world. Instead of creating separation and withdrawal, we're actively fostering appreciation for the closeness and connectedness of the world. This is a joy that's not obstructed by selfish desires, envy, or re. Dash. Sentiment. It's the purity of happiness for someone else's good fortune. We can choose to cultivate this feeling of joy in the happiness and success of others, without the need to compete or compare. It's actually a feeling. That's natural to humans, but it's often neglected when our attention is focused on selfish craving. This is the true seed of generosity, delighting in the happiness of others, without needing anything in return. The second heart practice is compassion, which is first of all a will. Dash. In this to come close to pain, to recognize it, honor it, acknowledge it, and respond to it wisely. This isn't easy, because just as we want to run from or suppress our own pain, we also want to avoid being with the pain of others. Compassion means sitting with our own pain and that of others. It stops the cruelty of indifference. Compassion for ourselves is crucial. Self-compassion is the key to healing the shame and guilt that we often feel as we begin to recognize the harms we caused through our addictions. You may also find that compassion is difficult to realize when it comes to those who have caused you great harm. In these cases, it can be helpful to focus on your own healing by practicing self-compassion. Engaging in wise reflection of the Four Noble Truths, and committing to the practices of the path. With time, you may gradually wish for the relief of suffering for those who have hurt you. Compassion is not just offering sympathy and a helping hand. It's also an intention to avoid causing harm to others and ourselves. This is where we can most easily see the difference between skillful and un- dash skillful actions, and between wise and unwise intentions, cruelty, and all the harm it creates in the world, comes from a lack of compassion. Cruelty is a desire to cause pain. Compassion is caring about the welfare and happiness of others. Compassion rests on the renunciation of harm. Dash. In living beings and is not only the wish, but also the intention to put an end to their suffering. We need to open our hearts, not just our minds, to all the suffering that is experienced in the world. Compassion is not only a feeling, it is an action. The third heart practice is loving kindness, also known as meta. Dot. 
These are thoughts that are free from ill will, simply wishing.